Welcome back to the channel. I'm Richard Gill. I'm a professional photographer and in this video I'm going to give you five tips to help improve your pet portrait photography. Now let's get straight in. So my first tip is take photos at your pet's eye level and that might mean getting down uh, on your knees or even lying down on the ground but the important point is you want your lens to be at the same height as your pet's head or your pet's eyes which leads me very neatly into my second point and that is wear some old clothes so uh, as I mentioned to get to their eye level chances are you might have to lie down in the ground especially if you've got a small dog like Obi who's appears in many of my videos and you see him here in these uh, portraits so a lot of the time I'm lying down right on the ground so that I'm about the same height as him because he's only sort of 12 inches 30 centimeters uh, above ground level to get to his head height another way you can do that actually is choose your ground so if you've got some sloping ground make sure your pet uh, is higher up than you so you're further down the slope that will naturally bring you to his eye level or you could do something like find a, a raised banking maybe a raised seat or something um, put your pet on that and that will get you to the same sort of level now for my third point is you need something to keep your pet uh, exactly where you want them to be so I'd recommend taking along either their favorite toy or their favorite treats and that way you can tempt them into the position you want I'd also want to use them uh, to tempt them to turn their head to catch the light and things like that if you can take another volunteer with you that's even better because you can use them to uh, move your pet around by by using treats to tempt them into the ideal position if you can't do that then you'll have some fun and games like I always do with Obi trying to get him to stay in the right place while I take the photo for my fourth point let's talk about camera settings first of all what lens would you use now I'd recommend you, if you've got one to use a telephoto if you've got your kit lens then you probably also want to be um, at the uh, more extreme range of it so at its highest magnification just makes your life a little bit easier helps you to fill the frame with your pet I tend to use something like this 90 millimeter telephoto lens it's a nice prime lens gives a a, a, a lovely setup. Uh, the other option I also use is uh, this 70 to 200 as well because then I can get close up on some of the action, especially if you're taking action portraits. Now, the settings I use, I usually go for a shutter speed of at least the 200th of a second, and that's because I'm usually taking pictures of my dog and uh, a wagging tail is surprisingly fast sometimes and by going to a 200th of a second I can freeze the action of that wagging tail. The other thing I will do is I will choose a uh, wide aperture so usually the widest ones that my lens will allow. Uh, in the case of the lenses I've just shown you that's f2.8. Now the other thing I will do is I'll also set my camera up so I'm going to make sure um, that I've set uh, it to recognize that I'm photographing animals and uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that in the next point but the one thing I will do is make sure that my drive mode is set to continuous and one of the faster ones because your animal will not stay still while you're shooting the photo unless it's extremely placid or very well behaved but generally they will do something they will start to move and by having uh, that continuous high it gives you a chance of getting at least one frame in a little burst that is perfectly in focus and caught the expression that you want. So my fifth and final tip is where to focus. Now ideally you want to focus on the leading eye of your, of your pet. Well that's the eye that's closest to your camera. So for that I'm going to use a spot focus and I usually go to a large spot just because I know their heads are going to be moving and it just makes it a little bit easier. Also want your camera in a continuous focus mode just to allow it to capture the movement unless your pet will keep very still for you. 
now if you're more experienced you might want to use back button focus this means you're pressing a button on the back of your camera to get it in uh, uh, the focus right and then every time you press the shutter it's not going to refocus and uh, I'll put a link to a video here uh, if you don't know how to do that um, if you prefer you can use your camera's autofocus system just make sure it's set to continuous and also make sure it's set up if it has the option to recognize an animal uh, in the Sony a7III's case you can uh, do face detection and set that to uh, animal mode now I hope you found those tips useful I'd love to see some of the photos you've taken of your pet um, please feel free to share them in the nifty 50 photographers Facebook group and there's a link to that in the description and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video